Hi, my name is Bradley Chi. Um, I'm in uh, UC Davis Cosmos Cluster 4 for cybersecurity. So I did my um, research paper and presentation on mobile security and Android's permission system. So, um, how many of you guys have smartphones? <laughs> One, two, three. That's a, a fair amount. <laughs> so, less than I was thinking. But um, so, actually, like, why is mobile security important? Well, um, if you actually look at this graph, 50% um, of Americans who have um, cell phones. Uh, they are, the cell phones are smartphones, so that's a fair amount of people. Like, um, so it's really important that we have mobile security. Um, smartphones contain like lots of personal data, and in like say before the era of the smartphone, um, many people had like only contacts of just. Um, uh, cell phone numbers and stuff. So um, they had no connection to the internet and it was um, pretty hard to hack them. So um, ever since Android and iOS, they've been collecting more and more data. They, smartphones now have access to people's emails, Facebooks, cell phone numbers, and um, it, the threat is only getting more amplified because uh, since Apple created the App Store, apps are all the buzz in the smartphone industry. Um, everyone's going out to uh, make apps, like websites and companies, and many companies can make money off it too. Um, so apps will add more functionality and uh, to your smartphone, and the scary part is apps now, um, there's an app called Google Wallet, and what basically it does is uses uh, near field communication in your phone to actually make your smartphone into a wallet. So say mm -hmm. your, someone stole your phone, then um, it would be pretty scary because they would have your wallet. And also, like Chai was talking about in his presentation, um, phones can now access uh, your car and start your car, unlock your car, and release the trunk, panic, and even locate your car. So if they steal your phone, they steal your wallet and your car keys. Um, so yeah, um, well, um, so mobile applications are uh, really popular now. And um, a company, uh, company you probably all know is Rovio, uh, a company from Finland. Um, they are the developers of Angry Birds, and um, they first developed it on iOS and made lots of money, and it spread like wildfire. Um, but when Rovio released it to Android, they released it uh, as a free ad-based um, way to make money. So um, at first. Uh, people were wondering if it would make as much money as if they were to sell the app and people would pay like a dollar for it. But uh, they actually made more money um, by using ads than um, using, say, um, uh, just paid apps. They actually, uh, when they first the year they released it, they uh, made $106 million in revenue from just ads. Yeah. Um, so, um, now, uh, what Android uses is a thing called uh, a per the permission system. So uh, for apps, so apps um, like in a normal uh, Linux uh, system or say a computer system, um, when you run an app, it runs on your user. So it has the app has all the permissions that the user account is running on. But for Android, uh, Google decided to take another approach to it and decided that um, each app will run on its own permissions, uh, its own user account with its own permissions. So when de a developer makes an app, um, he chooses which, uh, 
which permissions he, uh, the app will need. So an app with, uh, will not have any access to any section of the phone that it doesn't have permission to access. Um, so when a user installs an app, uh, so on the Play Store, you search an app, you find an app, click install, and it presents you with all the permissions it uh, can access. Um, so um, then the user can decide, hey, uh, Zynga Poker has access to storage, system tools, all these different things. And if, say, it, you think a game shouldn't have that app, uh, say, shouldn't have access to your messages and stuff, then you always, you look at it and you say, why would, why would it need that? So you wouldn't install it. Um, so it, it seemed like a very good system, and um, <coughs> users could decide if they could allow it or not. But there are a few problems to that, as in, like, many users, um, when they go to install an app, uh, they often don't even look at the permissions. So like, say, Zynga Poker, it has um, over 10 million downloads. And if you look at the permissions it has, it has permissions to phone calls, your personal information, and your accounts. Uh, a Zynga Poker app? Like, seriously? <laughs> why, why would it need your phone calls? <laughs> um, so, yeah, Zynga's known for, like, st uh, supposedly um, going too far into <laughs> privacy, especially in Facebook. And Facebook actually has a similar permission sy system to Android, as in, like, when you do a Facebook app, it has permissions. So, um, that's a big problem that um, some things have. And also, um, when we went uh, when we went to uh, Sandia uh, National Apps, I met um, Jeremy Erickson, the program manager for Center of Cyber Defenders and specialists and a specialist in uh, mobile security. Um, so uh, I actually took him to the side and asked him about uh, all this mobile security stuff, and he was explaining to me this um, this way that um, ads ad based apps will actually use permissions that um, that an app has. So it's similar to like a website's um, a drive by downloads and stuff. So ads on um, say uh, Angry Birds, there's always ads at the top. So um, if you have Angry Birds, it will the ads could take a look at say your network and stuff and only give you ads based on that. But if you say you had a uh, count, uh, a Google, say Google Maps had um, ads, it would take your location and base ads off your location. Like say we're at UC Davis, oh there's a good sushi place down in UC Davis. So um, uh, ads could actually be malicious and stuff. So if say it got hold like of a like on Zynga Poker, it has all these permissions. It could look, it could send back to the database. It could see like your phone calls now. It can base all these ads off your phone calls and stuff. So that's a little scary. Um, so that is a big problem. Um, also. Uh, Google made uh, an API to make uh, Android more uh, uh, seamless. So it's uh, called Intense. What Intense does is uh, uh, it um, uh, allows apps to communicate to each other. So if you had a Facebook app and you wanted to take a picture, it would send it to the camera app and you could take a picture and then the picture will be then sent to the Android and you could upload it. So, um, there actually is problems with this um, because apps uh, can, uh, it, Intense can help malicious apps like share permissions. So if you had uh, Clint Gibbler, a uh, speaker uh, earlier uh, this, these weeks, um, talked about how if you had two apps, one with uh, a certain amount of permissions, say like a calendar app has all the access to calendar, uh, for contacts and all these things, and you had another app that had network connection, then basically, 
if they talk to each other, they could send the contacts to the one with network connection, and the network connection would then send it back. So that gets a little scary. So um, also, uh, I want to talk about uh, routing that I asked uh, Jeremy Erickson. I actually root my phone. It's um, Rooting is when you um, give your Android phone super user. Super user um, actually gives you every permission. You could uh, go into the kernel or anything and uh, change anything you'd like. So um, uh, root access is, can be very dangerous, but root access is something that um, people like to do to tweak their phone and stuff. And it's actually pretty good because uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to it. So the advantage is like there are apps like um, that can actually uh, let you block permissions of other apps. So if you download, say, Zynga Poker, and you're like, hey, it doesn't need phone calls, you can block Zynga Poker from using that. And sometimes it'll force close and stuff, you know, it won't make the app work, but usually it's still fine. But the disadvantage of root access is if um, you accidentally gave root access to an app that was malicious, it could completely take over your phone. It has every permission. It could, if you tried to kill it, it could hide itself into the kernel in which you couldn't do anything and just send everything. Um, so this is a big problem. So um, mobile security is uh, really important. And what we need to do to let people in the future, we should, uh, Google should change their permission system to um, more specify like why each app should uh, need these permissions. Like Zynga should have to tell like why would they need phone calls. It, it should be more specific. Mm -hmm. And also um, uh, Google needs to uh, pay more attention to bugs in their permission system. And um, uh, mobile security is really important and personal data. And even though it's a young, growing technology, uh, they need to stop looking, overlooking security. And this is more important than, say, a computer now, almost, with your phone key, your uh, keys to your car and wallet. <laughs> um, and I think we should, uh, people should uh, educate about like how uh, to kids or to people in general, like why um, they should look at the permissions and not overlook um, the problems. Uh, yeah. So that's. Very good, so, so, so a quick question. Um, I guess could security get in the way? Do you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see that. Like, say, uh, security could get in the way, but um, all you. Uh, permissions, uh, security, like, it only takes five seconds to say, look at the permissions, but it, it takes the same amount of time for someone to just hack your phone and steal your data. <laughs> Good. Chai? So it's like Zynga poker, sorry, Zynga poker and stuff, what do they do when they get like access to your phone calls? What um, do they do with it? <laughs> the only way to check that if a uh, from uh, to check what um, an app would do is your information is to look at either the code or actually sniff what uh, is going through the network. But um, yeah, uh, I didn't actually look through um, what Zingapunker does with your phone calls, but it uh, probably just has that so um, for ads or something, and uh, so it does whenever it needs an update and say Zynga Poker gets better and you can, like, you can call the person who you're playing poker with or something, then they wouldn't have to do an update in which they had to update the permissions and you'd have to update that. Okay. Thank you very much.